Hey guys, this is Brittany for C Beauty BTV, and today we will be reviewing the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide-On Shadow Pencils. Uh, we're going to be talking about the C's and B's of these products, and I'm going to give it an overall rating at the end. The first uh, pencil that we're going to talk about is the Delinquent Pencil. It is the kind of, uh, it's like a silver black. It goes on just like this. Let me swatch it on my hand for you. So it has uh, silver specks in it. It's a black base with silver specks and silver like glitter in it. And basically, in my opinion, it's it doesn't glide on. It It's very hard to work with when you're trying to put it on your eyelid as a eyeshadow. It works great as an eyeliner, but as a shadow, I don't think that it works as well as it's supposed to. So let's get into the C's and B's of this product right here. So the costs, these are about $20 each at Sephora. Um, the container uh, right here, I don't, it's just a regular pencil. I do believe that when you sharpen it, you're going to lose a lot of product. So that could be a downfall of these. For the cost, $20 to use a, lose a lot of product while sharpening, I don't know about all that. The color payoff it has a beautiful, beautiful color payoff. Like, this is gorgeous. It has amazing color, but that's about it. When you're trying to work with it, there's really, it's very hard to work with. As far as the blendability, it's not blendable. It's very hard to work with it. You need one of your stiffest brushes to try and blend any color in the crease that you're going to use with one of these. But the color payoff is great. They're beautiful colors, beautiful, beautiful colors. It's just a matter of how are you going to blend it? Are you going to use it alone? Are you going to blend it with your finger? I've tried numerous ways to wear this gorgeous color, but there's been no way that I've successfully done it. So the next color that we're going to talk about is, which one is this? This is Delinquent. Delinquent is gorgeous. It's a purple with a, a little... Uh, glitter inside of it. it it reflects gorgeous when light hits it but that's about it so the cost of this one is twenty dollars at sephora the container and box is the same it comes into this little uh pencil and the box very very basic packaging um the color payoff this is a gorgeous 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 color let me go ahead and swatch it for you and you'll see how gorgeous it is. It's a deep purple, deep plum purple. Um, this one actually does slide on a lot better than Delinquent, but when it comes to blendability, it's just non-existent. So if you notice right here, this is the color. And I'm gonna move my hand like this. It is gorgeous, like a gorgeous deep plum purple. It has small, small, flecks of glitter in it but it's not very noticeable it's just a gorgeous gorgeous color but when you go to blend it it's just it's hard to work with um as far as uh blendability like i said you can't do it i've tried working with both of these colors with my fingers with brushes and it's just hard like i've tried to smoke each one of them out by themselves where i'm using a black base and I just work them up with my finger to try and get that nice smoky look. And it doesn't even want to work out. Like it doesn't want to move with your finger. So the thing about these is if you're looking for a shadow that's just going to stay put all day and it's not going to move and you don't want to put another color with it, then these are by all means your go-to shadow because these are not going to move. They're hard to take off with makeup remover. As far as me, I like to use three and four colors on my daily looks it's not going to work for me. There's no way that I can use three and four colors with something that doesn't blend very well. So my overall rating on these are D. I would not recommend them for people such as myself who love to blend and work with other colors on top of different products. It just doesn't work that way. But if you are going to 
use this by itself and it's a simple I'm going to the store look and you just want to swipe and move it a little bit it's going to take a lot of work to move it but it can be done so if any of you guys know any other ways that you can possibly get this to work a little more fluid with other colors or if you can if you figured out a way to get these to blend better or to work better even if you're just using to smudge it with your finger please do leave comments in the comment section I really do appreciate that that would help me immensely because right now I just want to go ahead and gift these to one of my friends but if you have any suggestions please do hit me in the inbox or write the comments below I really do appreciate you watching and subscribe if you haven't already Thanks again. This is Brittany for C Beauty BTV and have a great day. Bye.